Hey, where are you? Oh, there you are. All right. How's it going? Good, Tom. Good. the Pico Reef guys right in front of me taking it home what we're gonna do today is put the Pico tank together I got the pieces of glass from Johnny D's and now we're gonna silicone it all together today new viewers if you missed the first part it's 3.5 gallon pico reef construction or build and i'll put it over here uh, go look at that one first and also what i'll do right now is a quick recap of what went on in that video all right let's get into it I'm doing a pico reef tank and this one inch union will allow me to it'll sit here it'll go back 10 inches and it'll gravity feed down into the 20. So there it is, guys. That's the space it's going to fit in. Right there. Headed over to Johnny D's with the plans. Ah, no Johnny! So here it is. The top shelf. I'm going to have to raise it up about an inch. Today's video, guys, was a little stressful for me because I do these Saturday and I had to put the aquarium together today. I had to silicone it and I have to do the editing. So what you're going to see today is the complete putting together of the aquarium. All right, let's get into the video. this cool right kind of excited guys I spray painted the back with flat black with the two-in-one and that came out nice and this sealant I used it's black I want to keep it black because the other two aquariums I use black so the aquariums will look nice together all three of them will have black seams and this is American sealants ink it's really good I did some research before and as you can see over here it's held up really nice on my five gallon no problems with it at all you'll need the caulking gun and some tape so we'll set up the table in the studio and we'll get into it Please make sure you prepare your area before siliconing. Always make sure you cover your area before siliconing. Just make sure you cover your area before you silicone. It's all over the place. Cover your area before you silicone it. It's all over the place. I goofed the measuring up big time for Johnny, and he went and cut to size. He was correct, but I was incorrect. When I put things back together, I had to go and recut some stuff, and it wasn't easy. And there were some marks shown, 
You'll see that in the video. But the way I handle that is they get covered up when you silicone, so you don't see that. Obviously, I take the non-screwed up piece of glass for the front. Now, it's going to hang over a little bit, but it should be enough. It's not going to fall. Okay, then the side. Okay. What I wanted to do here was tape back the edge so when I put the silicone on, when I wipe it with my finger, it stays nice and clean. You just peel the tape off. So what I've done here, guys, is I've taped it real close to the edge, 16th of an inch. I need to put the sides up first so it holds steady. There's a lot of planning before you silicone. I don't do this all the time. But what I failed to do was account for the thickness of the glass. So I put the tape too close to the edge of the glass pieces. rubber gloves guys well, let's test out my new surprise all right ready let's test it out all right guys going to get my rubber gloves we'll need those for the silicone so you're not making a mess so I'm going down to my car let's see how far this will carry going down the steps now and you know what I noticed? It's because of my voice every time. All right, I'm back guys. Here we go. I got two pair. I am so out of shape. I'm on the third floor. So three flights of steps. I think the Pico, guys, is going to look awesome up there. It really is. All right, in this section, I'm starting to peel the tape back. When you peel the tape back, it's still not mess free. It's just a messy situation when you silicone glass together. So there's a couple areas that are going to need work after to clean up with the razor blade. That left side is bad, but I'll just clean that up with a razor blade. So there it is, guys. All right, here it is, guys. One Pico Reef. Back. Needs to be cleaned up a little, but it's going to be awesome. Eight by 10, by 10 deep, 3.5 gallons in my hand. There it is up there, guys. It's dry enough where I could lift it and put it up there. I think it's gonna look really nice. I didn't do the overflow. The hole in the overflow is one inch. I figured that's plenty. And the hole in the back of the Pico is half inch. All right, guys, that should do it for this one along we're getting there so have a great week and i'll see you on water change wednesday leave some questions
leave some comments so I have stuff to do on Water Change Wednesday. Oh, I might have a surprise. I ordered the pump for the Pico. Maybe I'll do an unboxing in between Water Change Wednesday. All right? Take care now, guys. Now it's gonna hang over a little bit, but it should be enough. It's not gonna fall. Kessel went and jacked their price up to $151 on Amazon. They just jacked their price up again. It started at $120 and now it's up to over $150. So I'm not going with that. Always make sure you cover your area before siliconing. It gets all over the place.